Hello my loves, I hope you're all doing really really well. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I've obviously been filming quite a wee bit um, before I've obviously spoken to you but hi, hello. I've literally just been on stories on Instagram and like laughing about the fact I've got my house coat on. It's currently 12 o'clock and the doorbell, which our doorbell barely ever goes like sometimes for packages but yeah we don't really get a lot of like, we don't get a lot of like foot traffic, foot, is it foot traffic you say? Is that the right word? Foot traffic? You know what I mean, we don't get a lot of like pedestrians and people coming to the front door. And yeah, the one day that I have got a house coat on at midday, we've had two people and at the bless of first little guy that came to the door thinking that I've been napping. So yeah, there is a reason for me having a house coat on. I was up super early this morning, I had my circuits class. Honestly, absolutely loving the gym right now. Like I'm just so happy about the fact I've got into a bit of a routine with it again. And yeah, not doing it to be like a certain size or anything, just doing it for my mental health. And honestly, it's making such a difference. Like. I just feel in such a better place the past two weeks and it really is because I'm making myself get up early and doing doing that kind of like work, doing that workout in the morning just makes me feel like I've achieved something. Um so yeah, it's having a really positive impact so far and I'm determined to stick to this routine. So I've said it here so like you guys can keep me accountable. So like I was saying, I was up early this morning, went to the gym, me and my brother went and got a wee coffee afterwards, which was really, really nice. Came in, got my shower, washed my hair, had my breakfast, which was really, really nice. It was something different I had this morning. Um, and yeah, just took my time doing some emails. Then I had quite a lot of content to film. So I have already had makeup on. I filmed some content. Then the last bit of content I had to do was a skincare reel. So obviously, all the makeup is now off. It actually was quite good because I'm going out tonight for a dinner with my mum. Um, I'll take you with me to that. And I'm going to do another kind of little get ready with me reel. The fact I've not got any makeup on is really good because I'm now about to go and start working about the house and I hate having makeup on my face. And then by the time I go out, I'd feel crusty and it just wouldn't be good. Such a long-winded, unnecessary explanation. But I actually wanted to mention this house coat. I got this in Ikea the other day. I was just saying this on stories as well. So sorry if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have already heard of this. But I was actually looking to get a new house coat. If you've watched a lot of my vlogs, you'll know that I wear a black house coat. It looks like it's seen better days. And also just because it's a summer, I feel like you want to wear a more of a neutral toned house coat. Well, I do anyway. I was looking for this kind of colour and I was also looking for a waffle one. I had my eye on one in H&M and then was in Ikea and seen this one and it was actually cheaper. So yeah, Ikea is coming through with the chic house coats. I've made myself this little fruit plate up and I've got such a sweet tooth and this is perfect. I've popped on a little toffee sauce over it which I can actually have on Slimming World. So yeah, loving this. I have such a sweet tooth, it's probably the thing that I struggle with the most. Um, but this is really delicious and I've got a little kind of toffee sauce on there and some little chocolate drops which I can have as since. But before I do, I actually want to show you some of the bits that I picked up in Primark the other day. Quite a funny story actually, they have some gorgeous bits in for summer. Like, I put so many things into my basket. I had two pieces, I had long dresses. I had bikinis, like I had put so much into my basket. I don't know about any use, but I don't usually try clothes on in Primark. I usually just kind of like fill my basket and go home. But because I put in quite a lot of different outfits and I obviously hadn't tried them on, I thought this is quite risky business. So I went to the changing rooms and thank God I did because guys, I did not buy one thing that I tried on. Like now the outfits were not bad. They fit me, but yeah they were just not doing anything for me like the f they were quite ill-fitting Um, i have quite big boobs and some of the tops like the cups weren't sitting right on my chest Um, the skirts were like a wee bit too big at one area but tighter in the other area um, yeah, they just it just wasn't good and i'm to be honest glad that i went like i said in last week's vlog i have got a holiday to go on and i'm really determined to feel good for going on the holiday and yeah, just feel the best I can feel in myself. So I'm glad that I went in and tried some outfits on. I kind of know where I'm at. I kind of know what I need to do. Um, so yeah, it was good that I went in and did it. So I do have some things to show you, but it's none of the sun and outfits that I thought I was going to be showing you. It would not be a pre-mark trip without picking up some new underwear sets. And I have these sets in white, black and nude already and chocolate brown actually as well. Obviously they've brought out some gorgeous colours for summer and I wear them to death so I thought I would pick up some. We've got this gorgeous kind of corally orange colour to in candy pink. And how beautiful is this? It's a really soft 
pale yellow colour. I absolutely love that. So I got those three new sets and I'm actually going to keep them aside and potentially actually put them in the suitcase if we're going on holiday because I don't know if you guys are like me but I like to buy new underwear for going on holiday so I thought they were really really pretty even maybe for like sleeping in and stuff on holiday as well because obviously when you're on holiday it is hot. Then I also got this gorgeous little set which is kind of like a crochet fabric. I absolutely love the colour of this. I did get it in a large um, because the cups were quite small. I actually thought the little top could be a really pretty bralette on holiday maybe with like a long linen shirt and like match linen flared trousers. Also to know all of these underwear sets were £5 each. I haven't been to Primark and bought a lot of pyjamas for ages honestly like every time I go in I'm tempted to buy pyjamas and I've been stopping myself but I decided to get this lovely oversized pinstripe shirt. This is like my favourite thing to sleep in. I love a big kind of flowy oversized shirt. Just find them super super comfy. So again thinking I would take that on holiday with me. It would also be really cute as a little beach cover up. They had the most gorgeous um, pyjama set. It was white with um, oranges on it. It looked like the perfect pair of pyjamas for holiday. It looked like it should be on holiday in Italy. And honestly, I was obsessed and obviously so was everyone else because they only had extra small or extra extra small left and your girl's not an extra extra small, that's for sure. So like I said, I didn't buy any holiday clothes but I did buy some holiday accessories even though I don't have clothes yet. I wore one of these visors on holiday last year and I'm going to obviously take it with me again. I love how these look. I feel like they just make you feel instantly cool. I probably don't look cool with it on but I feel cool. So on holiday this year, I plan to wear a lot of flats. I'm going to take a couple pairs of heels maybe for night time but probably at night time as well, I'm going to just wear flats. I'm going to be super comfy and I just feel like you can't be a simple black flip flop. And to make these even better, so they were only 90p. Now they did have them in white, nude and a really nice bright green colour. Okay, we must all run to Primark for these sandals. These also come in black by the way in case you would prefer a black pair to this colour but these are a dupe for the ones in H&M. Now I ordered the ones from H&M a while ago and I got them the wrong size so I sent them back and although the ones in H&M are really good value for money, H&M is always really good value for money, Primark is just that little bit better. These gorgeous sandals were only £10. I mean just look at the detail on them, they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really excited to style these up on holiday as well. And then the last little pair of sliders I picked up were these ones. Now these just give me rich lady vibes. We're going to Marbella on holiday and if you've been to Marbella before you've probably been to Porto Benus which is really fancy. You know everyone's got a yacht all that kind of stuff. I'm laughing at me saying that because I'm going to be there in my Primark sliders but don't these just look so expensive? I honestly feel like these look like a designer pair of sliders and they're only £6 and again I feel like they could be dressed up so nice for night time and my vibe for holiday this year is just kind of like really chic simple. Yeah, I've got like a vision for my holiday outfits and these sliders are definitely going to match. Last little thing I picked up were two new lip liners. I swear by Primark lip liners I have done for years and they're only a pound which is again such a bargain. Two shades that I like are Spice and Toffee. So if you're ever wondering what lip combo I have on, it's more than likely going to be one of these two. Something else that arrived today that I am so so excited about is our paint for our bedroom. So let the lime washing begin. Um, I'll probably vlog that next week, might be in this vlog, it depends on when this vlog goes out. But yeah, that was another little delivery that came this morning that I'm so excited about. I just realised I filmed all of those stories and all of this without my ring on. I am still engaged, I just took the ring off to do um, the skincare video because I hate anything getting on my ring. Okay, I am going to go now and crack on with everything else I need to get done this afternoon and I'll check back in with you when I'm heading out for dinner tonight. Like, it's sometimes it's just such a thought. Um, 
but yeah, once you start it, it's never that bad. I had to quickly get ready actually, I didn't leave enough time and I was going to film my makeup, but then I never ended up having time um, because I went for a little kind of orangey lip tonight. This is a MAC lipstick and it's one that I've had for years. I think I bought it in the airport years ago. Definitely a summer colour. I'm on my way to pick my mum up. We are going for a lovely dinner at the McMillan tonight. Um, if you've never been before, it is a stunning steak restaurant and yeah, the food's always amazing. So I'm super excited to go there. Yeah, this is probably the last I'll chat to you until tomorrow. has a mind of its own this morning let's take this bag off because it's about to fall off my shoulder any minute now. I haven't really vlogged at all the past couple of days because I have literally just been up early at the gym organizing all day like there's not really been much else going on. I gutted the full kitchen this morning it was just like in needing a really good clean. Chris has taken up cooking recently which you know, it's really good for him to be getting some cooking skills but what it's not good for is the fact that he's got oil all up my kitchen walls because um, we don't have a splash, we've got a splash back behind the actual cooking area but somehow he's managed to get just, yeah, I can't really talk about it because it's quite infuriating but anyway, I also really shouldn't be rambling just now because I need to go, I'm actually going to my mum and dad's today I had planned the full weekend to kind of just be in the house, do a food shop, continue like gutting the place but the marble for the studies actually ready, I was not expecting it to be ready this quickly I actually picked an off cut so they weren't having to really um, do too much to it. We're putting in like a hole for uh, cables and stuff because obviously it's going to be a floating desk. Yeah, I'm really excited to go and see see what they've done to it and hopefully weather depending. I think my dad's going to come up tomorrow and we're going to start the office. So yeah, really excited and of course as always I'll take you with me and we can see the marble together. Also should point out that I have no makeup on and I was supposed to go for an eyebrow appointment this morning. An eyebrow appointment which severely overdue and basically had to cancel because I'm getting this marble and time wise I was going to have to be in town back like there was just it just wasn't basically going to be doable. My eyebrows are wild and I also thought I would add on some little faux freckles across my nose don't ask me why. So yeah the look today is a little gym set, my favourite Lala blazer, bare face and a pair of trainers and off we go. Also another quick one before I go, um, the McMillan the other night guys, wow I don't know if it's because I have been like healthy recently or I don't know but that meal was it was honestly one of the best meals I have had in ages. Staff are also so nice in there and my mum loved the dinner so yeah all round was a lovely little evening out. Again I've drove, I've drove in frontwards into my driveway which I don't actually usually do I usually reverse in um, and that's twice I've been vlogging and I'm having to reverse it.